BBC Focus on Africa. Time now for some sport and Sierra Leone footballers have something more to complain about. Yes, they certainly do, Sophie. As if not being allowed to play at home because of the Ebola outbreak were not enough, now Sierra Leone's players find they are having chance about the disease hurled their way. International Michael Lahoud has told the BBC that his teammates have been humiliated and ridiculed because of the stigma of Ebola. Lahoud says the reaction from opposition fans has been brutal at times, with fans chanting Ebola, Ebola at them. Sierra Leone have been playing home Africa Nations Cup qualifiers in neutral venues because of the Ebola outbreak at home. Tomorrow afternoon, they play Cameroon in Yaoundé. Even for the matches that you know, I was a part of, there, there was a lot of reluctance for, for not just opponents, but anyone to shake our hands. Um, you know, and, and in Cameroon right now, the Ebola outbreak is really causing a lot of uh, tension and friction. You know, it's very difficult when you try and go to prepare for a huge match against you know, the top team in our group and you get kicked out of your hotel because the people in, in the neighboring you know, neighborhoods and, and the guests of the hotel are threatening to leave um, because you're there. You know, that, that becomes almost like a nightmare scenario. Now, last year, coach Stephen Kechi led Nigeria to their first Nations Cup title in nearly two decades. In June, he took the Super Eagles into the knockout stages of the World Cup, but he is under real pressure at the moment because they may be the reigning African champions, but Nigeria are also facing a real fight to qualify for January's Nations Cup. On Saturday, they lost in Sudan to compound an opening day defeat to Congo, Results that have left the Super Eagles firmly bottom of Group A. On Wednesday, they host the Sudanese. And if they don't win, they can no longer qualify for those finals in Morocco. From Abuja, Oluwashina Okaleji has the details. The dismal performance of the African champions has attracted negative reactions here in Nigeria. After the shock defeat to Sudan last week, the local press have roundly criticized coach Steve Nkeshi, while some former international stars like Christian Chuku and Garu Balawal have called for his outright sack. Coach Keshi, who is working without a contract, has apologized for the defeat to Sudan, but also claims there was a conspiracy to make him fail. He does have a sympathizer in JJ Okocha. The former BBC African Footballer of the Year blames the systemic failure and the leadership crisis within the football house. Nigeria will host Sudan here on Wednesday. The last time the Super Eagles played at this stadium, they were held to a two-all draw by Guinea, which was not enough to secure a ticket to the 2012 African Cup of Nations. With growing unhappiness about recent results and fans turning their backs on the team, the Super Eagles will be hoping to claim three points against the Falcons and regain its lost glory. And finally, the father of injured Formula One driver Jules Bianchi says his son will not give up despite remaining in a critical condition after crashing at the Japanese Grand Prix. The Frenchman suffered severe head injuries when he collided with a vi recovery vehicle at Suzuka. And Father Philippe revealed some of the trauma the family are going through when saying every time the telephone goes, we know it could be the hospital to tell us that Jules is dead. He will not give up. I'm sure of that. And that, Sophie, is the sport we obviously wish Jules Bianchi well.